We're starting Mock October a little early. I bought eight pairs of the Red Wing Mock Toast to finally figure out the sizing and to help you guys not look like you're wearing clown shoes. And thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. So tomorrow is the white sneaker finale where we'll go through all the results, choose a winner for the series, and choose, do some other categories like best value, best construction, best looking, stuff like that. I'll also talk about what I would do if and when I were to make the ultimate sneaker. And so if there's anything you want me to cover specifically in that video, I'll pin a comment to the top of this video where you guys can comment on that comment of what you want me to cover in it. So I wasn't actually planning on doing this video um, and it's kind of all happened by accident because for the first episode of the Mocktober series on Saturday or Sunday, I bought two pairs of the Red Wing Mock Toes, one in a size 10 and a half, which is my usual size for boots and shoes, and one in a size 10. But when I got them, they're both way too big. And then I was just like, this has got to be happening to tons of people. It's got to be a common problem. So I'm just going to buy all the sizes and do a video on how I found the right size and kind of help get you guys in the right ballpark. And initially I thought I was only going to buy five boots, but I just kept going down and down and down. So I ended up buying eight sizes with the regular width and the extra wide width, the double E width. And fortunately I bought these all from Amazon and they all have free returns. So I'll be returning most of these um, when this video is done. And so I'll put a link in the description for the listing for these. So why is it so important to get the right size of Red Wings? Well, the problem is most people who buy these boots buy the exact same size that they buy in every other shoe or boot that they own. But Red Wings are notorious for running large, so you end up with a boot that's too big for you. And the problem with that is not only is it a little more uncomfortable to have a larger boot, but it moves the pivot point of where your toes are flexing farther back into the boot. And that causes the front of the boot to look longer and also causes it to kind of flex upward. It makes it kind of look like a boat with it all flexed up like that. And that's the main reason why when you see people wearing these out in public, they look like they're wearing clown shoes. So to make this video as universal as possible and as quantifiable as possible, instead of going off of shoe size where the size can vary from company to company or brand to brand, I got one of these Bannock devices. And so this will give me an exact measurement of where my foot's at and I'll show you some footage of my foot in it. And I also got a few of my friends who are around this shoe size to, to measure their foot and choose which shoe fits them best. Now let's quickly talk about the sponsor for this video, Dollar Shave Club. So Dollar Shave Club has you covered for all of your grooming needs, whether it's shower, oral care, deodorant, and most importantly, shaving. And if you're like me, you wear a beard all year round to cover up your baby face. Um, but I still need a razor to trim up my cheeks, uh, my neck, and any other grandpa hairs I have growing in. So Dollar Shave Club sent me their ultimate shave starter set that includes the executive handle and blade. It's a weighty handle with a high quality six blades, a one ounce tube of their Dr. Carver's prep scrub that exfoliates dead skin cells and helps release and prevent ingrown hairs, a one ounce tube of their Dr. Carver's shave butter. It's transparent for a more precise shave and helps fight bumps. And a one ounce tube of Dr. Carver's post shave dew. It helps provide hydration, relieves on contact. And my favorite one is the post shave do because it has the same effect as an aftershave, but you don't end up smelling like your grandpa, even though you might have grandpa hairs like me. So visit Dollar Shave Club slash Rose Anvil to get your ultimate shave starter set for only $5 and round out the rest of your grooming routine with any of their other high quality products. After that, restock boxes ship the razors at regular price. So thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. So now let's kind of go through each one of me and my friends and what size we registered on the Brannock device and which size we all chose. So I measured on the device at 10 length and a C width, so pretty narrow. And I ended up going with the nine double E's, as you can see here. If, you, if you've got a narrow foot, you might be fine just going with the D, but I just really hate having my toes squished in the end of my shoes, it drives me nuts. Um, so I went with the double E and I'm really happy with them. I've been wearing them for a couple weeks and breaking them in just to make sure that the sizing didn't change once the shoes were broken in. Next is Garrett. He came in at a 10.5 with the E width. He ended up liking the 9.5 double E and said the 10 D was just a little bit too tight for him, but he's also got a little bit wider of a foot than average. Next up is Schmood. So Schmood is a 9.5 and a D width, and he liked the 8.5 double E or the 9 D. And then finally, Jay, he was kind of the outlier. He measured a 10.5 and a D width, and he liked the nine double E or the 9.5 D. But he also told me he likes to have a little bit tighter toe box, and he kind of likes having that feel of his foot not slipping around. So that's what he ended up choosing. So based off of those results, if you've got an average size foot, 
go a full size down and get the double E width or half a size down and get the regular width. And then if you've got a really wide foot, I would just go half a size down and get the double E width and you'll probably be happy because these do run surprisingly narrow. One thing to keep in mind is that the double E widths, they do have a little bit taller of a toe box and they are a little bit wider, obviously. So it has just a little bit different look to it. It's really, really subtle and most people wouldn't notice it, but some people might care about that. And also keep in mind that we measured it off of this and this is different than most people's shoe size. So use this at wherever you can or put your heel against the wall and take a measurement of your foot and, and I'll put a little graph up here of what these convert to inches and centimeters or millimeters. And honestly, the best option would be to go to a Red Wing store and just try on the different sizes and pick it out that way. But that's not an option for everybody. So I would just suggest buying them from a place like Amazon where you can return them, see how it looks, see how it feels. If you don't like it, return it. But I think most people are gonna be happy with that. And if this is something you guys are interested in me doing in the future with other popular boots, I'm happy to do it. But these will be the first boot in the Mocktober series on probably Saturday. I'm shooting for Saturday. If, if I don't get it Saturday, it'll be Sunday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything you guys do. And consider subscribing because it's just one little teeny click. YouTube doesn't show you what you subscribe to anyway. And that little teeny click makes a huge difference for me. So thank you guys for everything. White sneaker finale tomorrow. I gotta film it. It's gonna be crazy. I'm almost, I'm almost out of this like filming frenzy. So thank you guys. See ya. Thank you.